Hi, Matt from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial video on using the infrastructure tools in Rapid Plan. In Rapid Plan, in your tools palette, you'll notice that you've got a number of subset of tools available for use on your plan. In this tutorial, we'll cover through the infrastructure tools and how they can be applied to your specific plan. In this tutorial, I've got a simple intersection laid out here. I'll just apply each of the tools and show you how they can be used. The first tool we have available here is the train tracks tool. To use it on your plan, just left click and then left click to begin drawing onto your plan. Like the road tool, you just draw it out as needed and add uh, clicks for each control point. Once finished, you can just adjust as needed and you can also extend out its control points as well. When the train tracks are selected, like any other object, they'll have its own properties. So in the train tracks properties, you can change it from a train to a tram track, but you can also adjust its size, such as width, uh, the stroke depth, and also uh, the spacing as well. I'll just add some signs here, just to make it a bit more relevant for the plan. The next tool we've got is the crosswalk tool. This is just a simple crosswalk tool that you can ap apply to your plan uh, for any pedestrian crossings or uh, for any other use that you require it for. So to begin using it, just a left click where you need to start it um, and then another left click where you want it to finish and then a right click to finish using the tool. Once it's set out, you can then left click on it. Uh, you can adjust its type in the properties. So you've got parallel, hatched or zebra crossing. You can change its color, width, striping, angle um, and also the style of it as well. The next tool we've got here is the island tool. Uh, so, for example, I'll draw an island in the middle of this road. So if there needs to be, say, a long patch of grass in the middle of the road that you need to sign on your plan, we can do that using this tool. So it's just an object-based tool, so you just draw it out the area that you require. And right-click to finish using once you've finished on your final point. You can adjust the sizing of it. using the control points. Uh, and when left clicked, you can adjust its properties. So you can see we can change the fill here to green uh, and also the style, whether it's uh, a hatch or transparent or solid. Next tool we've got available is the bike lane tool. Um, so if you're needing to draw a bike lane on your plan, uh, you can simply select it for use uh, and then begin drawing on your plan. So as you can see, I can add a bike lane on this side of the road and then adjust it where it needs to be. Uh, when left clicked, uh, you can adjust its properties so you can change it from a standard to a shared bike lane. Uh, you can change the color, spacing and width as usual. Next tool we've got is the parking bay tool. So this can be used to create your own boxed parking bays or you can use it to create parking bays on the side of each road. So I'm just gonna pretend that we've got a parking bay on this side and this side and I'll draw them in as necessary. So it's just a left click to start drawing on your plan. And then once you've drawn out the desired amount of spaces, just a left click and then you can drag your mouse to angle the parks and a left click to finish using it. So if I'm wanting them on the other side, um, rather than having to draw them again, I can just go Control C, click it, hit Control C on my keyboard and then Control V. This will then replicate it and I can also put it on the other side of the road as well. The final tool you have here is the sidewalk tool. Uh, you'll see around my pre-existing roads, I've already got a sidewalk here um, so it's not necessary here, but if I was to draw out another road, for example, and say, let's say it's a um, standard road, so 
sorry, a, um, a road only. We can add the sidewalks in just by drawing them out here. So it is a separate tool. So if the sidewalks off to the side, you can have that designated on the side of the road. Um, most road types will have the sidewalk included. Um, it's just up to you whether you want to use that tool uh, independently as well. That sums up using the infrastructure tools in Rafa Plan. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Invarian.